Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? Hope everybody doing fine. <clears throat> well, this video is life update. Well, life update, I'm getting ready to build my house from the ground up. Yes, y'all, I am finally there. Um, I think all my life, I had always like wanted to wanted to have I wanted a house that's paid for or even I don't think it's nothing wrong with leasing a house or renting a house or whatever. But <clears throat> I had started looking at houses um uh, a couple of days ago. And I was trying to figure out do I wanna build or do I want to um, just like buy? You understand what I'm saying? I was looking at some house and I was looking at that most of the house I was looking at was five, six bedrooms, uh, and they was um, uh, they were showing some good prices. That wasn't the problem. The problem was they they was five and six bedrooms, uh. Some of them was upstairs and some of them was downstairs. And, and I want some of the big, okay, I think you, I think they had one bedroom downstairs. You understand what I'm saying? And then they had uh, all the rest of the bedrooms upstairs. They had a, a game room, a study. Uh, they had some offices upstairs and they had some a office downstairs as well. Then they had uh, three car garages, you know, because you know, as y'all know, I told y'all I was going to. It, it it was two cars that I was going to get. I mean, it was two basic cars that I was going to get, or I was going to give me two trucks. You understand what I'm saying? But I know I'm gonna give me the Cadillac, uh, the long version, the Cadillac Escalade long version, and I'm gonna get me a Bentley. So I do know that. Uh, excuse me. I don't know if I want a Mercedes. I don't know. I, I keep saying that I want a Mercedes, but as I look at them, I'm looking at like, they don't too look, they don't too much look appealing to me, but I'm thinking about it. I I had to come on here and let y'all know what I was going to do, give y'all an update. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had to, uh, uh, charge my, uh, laptop up, my, uh, uh, Look like my computer was getting ready to die. Uh oh, y'all! Before I pretend this, I didn't. I didn't let y'all know that I'm beginning to be able to use this hand a little bit, not much. Like if I grab it, kind of push. It kind of hurts, but if I grab and like want to push my earphones into the plugs on my laptop or my uh, charger, I could do it a little bit, but not much. But I'm beginning to kind of like, and it it, it seems like it's beginning to try to open up a little but not much but anyway uh i talk about it when my uh therapist come out here tomorrow anyway that's a whole no different video so anyway so i told you i wanted the cadillac escalade and the, the the long version though cadillac escalade uh and i wanted the uh the bentley Yes, y'all. I still want me a Bentley. I know everybody be like, hey, what's up with you and these Bentley? That just it's my dream car. It's always been my dream car. Ever since I was younger, I always wanted that car. But for the Benz, I don't know if I want one because it's like it don't it look appealing, but then it don't look appealing to me. You understand what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. But I want to get back to my house. So I have been looking at some houses online. Uh, like uh, on YouTube and stuff and online on the internet I had looked at I don't want to go nowhere uh, I want to go I want to go no over nowhere over than like maybe five bedrooms you know I want five bedrooms so I want to go no over that limit I don't need no six seven eight nine bedrooms but I did see some that had five and six bedrooms with six and a half baths or uh, six baths. I liked them. You know what I'm saying? They had offices and studies. But what I didn't like about them, y'all, 
and I seen. Mm -mm. I didn't like the um, the bedroom. It seemed like the bedrooms was just a little bit too small because me, I like real, real big, bulky furniture. Because I'm telling y'all, if I was in my hospital bed right now, my bed would be so huge. It wouldn't even be funny, y'all. That's the type of furniture that I like. You know, I even like real big, bulky furniture in my living room. And then also, I had wanted uh, a family room, and then I wanted a, form, a, a, a formal living room. So I wanted the living room just for you can see. You can see how my furniture is. And then I wanted the, a, a living room where everybody can go and, and sit in. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm I coming to the expectations of that I'm thinking to myself that maybe I just going to go on and build. Because everybody was been telling me, the people that I've been talking to about, most of them saying if they get ready to buy a house, they was going to, they build property they gonna build it on some property so i mean i'm thinking about what bad is that you but they said when they build it on property it takes like maybe six months or a year but i also don't want my house when it build on property to be like i want it to be really really nice you understand what i'm saying i don't want it to be half done i want it to be that nice because i feel like if i'm paying you a lot of money to do something do my stuff right and that's what i'm scared of about building and stuff like that and, uh because i've seen a lot of contractors misuse people on um, when they get ready to build houses or when they even get ready to do anything for his businesses anything so and then on top of that i also thought about i, I it's still i'm still leering about it if i want to just build or I just want to buy because one of my friends was telling me I can just buy and uh, add on and I thought about that I said well I could add on but then too you adding on as you adding on people be like you hear a whole bunch of noise when you they doing this and they doing it because I have seen some nice houses now I have seen some nice houses to where I say well I was just going to buy that house and I don't want to even worry about building or add it on. I seen houses where you have uh, a home theater in it, uh, like three and four car garages, uh, like the patio where the they have the uh, fireplace in the back, and uh, they also have fireplaces in the bedrooms. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not a fireplace. Stand. You know, I stay in an apartment now. Well, I won't say an apartment. I stay in a condominium. So that's why I say I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, but I'm really, really thinking about it. And then also, as I'm building, uh, getting ready to buy my house and build my house, I'm also working on a new business uh, a venture. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been. I've been doing some things while y'all don't be thinking I'm just sitting around not doing nothing. I've been doing some things. I've been doing some things and trying to create some things and get some things going. Um, I have not quite like write it off what I wanted it to do. Uh huh. But I, I have like a couple things in mind. I was just thinking about creating some or uh some business one of my business ventures that i'm trying to create y'all it, it it really touches my heart because it's a lot of gay people out there and there are a lot of transgender people out there running away from home at a young age so i'm trying to create like a atmosphere for that you know it's sort of not like a shelter but a sort of environment where they can come and stay and they can go to school get the education they need um have a place to sleep you understand a place like that get the support they need uh something like that you know i, I it's not going to be like a house like it's, it'll be like a more like a building and it'll have like big it have like bedrooms 
you know, or or have like rooms on each floor and they have like a kitchen. So that's what I've been thinking about. Uh, I've been thinking about building one, not only just for HIV and AIDS, but I also been thinking about building one for the transgenders and also for the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the studs and the, uh, the gay men. So I really been trying to put some things together and get some progress going here to see what I can do or how I'm going to do it. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, and then along of that, I'm also thinking about, at first I said, do I want to open a restaurant or do I want to open a club or do I want to, uh, just do, a, I was thinking about like doing my own sweatsuit line. You understand what I'm saying? I kind of like that. Everybody else is doing like t-shirts, hats, uh, clothing line. But I thought, well, I can do my own sweatsuit line. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, and I thought it would be cute. So I, that's another thing I'm working on. I, I, I'm working on a lot of stuff that I'm trying to get together. And I really, really think it's going to be, it's going to be okay. Yeah, I really do. I really do think it's going to be okay. So, yeah, y'all. But other than that, everything is going great. I thought I'd just come up here, come on here and give y'all a life update about getting ready to build my house and starting my business. So, I just want to thank everybody for supporting me and I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos and I want y'all to continue to watch my videos and to continue to support me because you know as black people <coughs> excuse me we should support each other because if we don't support each other who 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 is going to support us so I really thank all the support and I think I love y'all for everything so I appreciate y'all and y'all stay up, prayed up and I'm sorry for carrying on this video this long. Bye.